You know I do. Yeah. 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, out! I'll be with you in a minute. Right. Prizzy. Hang on there a sec. I'll take you home. I know what you're thinking, even though you won't talk to me. then right some people have it easy but i'm not one of them i want to be a hero and when i'm up there fighting i feel like i'm really somebody it's something i can do and i do well when i'm in the ring fighting i can hear the crowd they're screaming for me to win i'm their hero i'm not just the dead end kid anymore i'm important so I'm telling you, don't you ever try and make me give this up. There are hundreds of ways you could be a hero. Why do you have to choose kicking people to death? Prissy, can't you see it my way, please? I could ask you the same thing. You... Prissy. Try and understand. Ever since Father left home, I've had the need to prove I'm okay. To make the grade somehow. To be the provider instead. For God's sake, try and understand. I'm not like you. I don't have any family money. What would you have done? Prissy, I... When I was younger, I was always in trouble. Picking fights and hanging around on street corners. I always felt inadequate. Kept having to prove I was as good as them. But I never felt good inside. So I... People like you always have a million excuses. Prissy. Don't be so damn condescending. You've never done a thing with your life. You just sit around and wait for a man to come and take care of you. Why can't you give me a break? Give you a break? Why the hell should I do that? So you think it's been easy for me, just because my family has money. Well, you're wrong, see? Money doesn't count for everything. The thing I wanted most was love. And I hate having to watch you be beaten up or maybe even killed, Rambo. I just can't stand it. We'll get nowhere like this. <laughs> You don't really care about me. The only thing you want is the applause. Go and get it then. Do whatever feels right. Don't worry. 
Go and rest now. I'm sure you're tired. You'll feel better about it tomorrow. They're all gone now. Uh, thank you. Shall I take you home? Please. My job's quite boring. Office work's all the same. Your father's got it right. Run the show and take the glory. <laughs> huh? We're here. Oh. Thank you for saving me. I'd like to see you again. Would it be okay if I called you? Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Missy, you're back. Mm -hmm. Is Mother playing Mahjong again? Yes. Oh, and Mr. Rambo Wong just called for you. Off again, tell him I'm not in. Oh. Hello? Uh, yes, sir. The mistress. She hasn't come back yet. Ah. Uh, uh. Hey, we do okay. A good show. Huh, <laughs> did you fall off? It was easy, wasn't it? She never guessed. <laughs> mm. It went as planned. Here's what we agreed on. Hmm. Let's Come go. Come on, you guys. Hey, it's all gonna get laid. <laughs> I'm first! <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 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 o
I've been looking for you. Mm. How's everything going with you? Just fine, thanks. Mm. I don't know you. Keep away from Bunny. Don't you stay with her. If you do, there'll be trouble. Got that? Uh, what? Hey? Hello? Hello? Who was that? A man called Schizo. Told me to stay away from you. Or there'll be trouble. Oh? And will you stay away? <sighs> of course not. I'm not afraid of him. Hmm. Really? Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Hello? Hello?
Until tomorrow. Mum, on the way home tonight. Wait till tomorrow. I'm in no mood for your whinging. Good night. Mum, Mum, I was waiting up for you. I wanted to speak to you. You see. Why must you wait up? I've had nothing but bad luck since you've been around. Don't you care about anything except Majan? No wonder Dad left. You're a compulsive gambler. You do have a daughter, you know. <sighs> Mum, don't you have any feelings? You're like a bloody drug addict. You're only alive when you've had a win. You, you're not fit to be anybody's mother. <laughs> <laughs> Have you finished? Yeah. I took her for a test drive. Nothing wrong now. Hmm. I get it now. I don't want to interfere, but I think you're wrong. I'm only thinking of you. Sure. Only thinking of me. Apparently, Pris is only thinking of me, too. What a lot of thoughtful friends I've got. Uh. Come on, Rambo. You can't blame your childhood for everything. It's not that that worries me. It's now that's a problem, and I've got to be the best, because that's how I see life. Why are you so stubborn? Why don't you let your friends help you become the best? Nobody ever did anything to help me when I was a kid, and they're not starting now. What do you mean? I mean what I say. But... Uh... Don't worry. I know what's right and wrong. If I didn't, I wouldn't be here, getting myself filthy dirty and badly paid. I do it for boxing, so I can go out and win. Oh, Rambo, I know you're a good guy. You used to be a bit of a problem, but you've grown up a bit these days. That's why I'm trying to help you. I wouldn't bother otherwise. Hmm. Hey, Rambo, just imagine. If your father was alive, how proud he'd be. And with good reason. Well, he's dead. And he's not here to be proud of me. Why do you hate him? Rambo, actually, I came here today to ask you to make it up with Percy. You're hurting her far too much. about 
about it, Rambo. If she didn't like you, she wouldn't worry about you, would she? Call her up. Apologize to her. Go on, lad. He's one hell of a guy. Hey, I'll be back in a minute, huh? Oh. What are you doing here? Uh, <laughs> since you won't answer my calls, what else could I do? Where are you going? None of your business. Hey, can I come with you? Does your mother spend much time at home these days? Mm -hmm. Right. I think she should spend more time with you. Prissy sometimes finds life very difficult. I hope you'll take care of her. <laughs> mm. I saw in the paper today. You had a great fight with Killer Lee. Fantastic. <laughs> Uncle Tom, you don't mind boxing as a career then? No, of course not. Why should I? <laughs> <laughs> What's more, use that same fighting spirit in all the areas of life that matter. Don't give up. Never say die. And if you don't win, just get up and try again. That's what I've always done. Daddy! Hmm? Daddy, you... <laughs> Mr. Tong, your solicitor's here. Shall I bring him in? Yes, he can come in now. Daddy, we'll go then. Right. Call me when you need some more money. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Khan. Ah. Oh, uh, sit down. Daddy's sweet. He's always got time for me, even though he's busy. He really does care for me. You like him more than your mm. mother. I adore my father. My mother used to complain, too many official functions. But his job is his life, that's how it is with him. He's a good man. He's responsible in his dealings. I like him a lot. Mm, so do I. Why don't you get the police in? If I wanted them, I wouldn't have called you in. Huh, you're crazy. But I'm a solicitor. You need a detective. Listen, go and call the police. No way. Can't do it. I'm not willing to let a thing like this nonsense spoil my reputation. Hmm. You've spoken to Bunny about it. She says the guy's an old boyfriend, doesn't think much of him. Hardly sees him anymore. Oh. Hmm. Well, if that's the case, why did he call you? What's in it for him? Hmm. You know, I think it could be a trap. Hmm? Hey, Peter, you'd better... Yeah. You don't want to leave her? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> World's full of pretty girls, Peter. But there's only one bunny. I never met anyone who made me feel so good. Oh? <laughs> Listen, we're all friends. So I'll tell you frankly. The main reason for my divorce was sexual incompatibility. I couldn't stand her coldness. 
But now I met Bunny. It feels good at last. She turns me on sexually, I admit. But we can also communicate. She seems to understand me. She knows how to make me feel really good. When I'm with her, I feel like a man. She makes me feel like a hero. Oh. Does that mean you don't want to leave her, then? No, I won't. I don't understand. Why is this match in Thailand so important to you? Prissy, I've spent years training for this. It's the big one, a chance to be famous. It's international competition. I've got to go and do it. Why don't you consider my feelings? Listen, there's no point discussing it anymore. I'm going to Thailand to fight. That's final. End of conversation. I'm quitting when I get back. This is going to be my last fight. Hey, Prissy, a man called Schizo Chan has been calling for you. He said he'd call later. Yeah, thank you. Hey. Prissy, when does Rambo leave for Thailand? The day after tomorrow. I've asked Oh Wang to stay here while I'm away. Take care of yourself, and don't you worry about me. Rambo, when you get to Thailand, write to me. I promise. First thing, I'll write you a letter. <laughs> what are you taking this for? So I won't feel so lonely. Please don't cry. I'm afraid of being left alone. Why can't you stay? <laughs> Prissy. I'll be back soon. When I've won. I'll bring you a beautiful present. I don't want anything. Just you back safely. Divorce can be a nasty business. Uh, have you considered the effect it might have on Prissy? I see, Mr. Khan. Did my husband send you here? Yes. Then I'm leaving. Tell him from me. I didn't produce Prissy out of thin air. She's his responsibility, too. Uh, sit down, Mrs. Tong. Please let me finish. He recognizes that, and he's not trying to avoid it. But she lives with you, and you are her mother. But he has his work, and he's a very busy man. Hmm. It was his work that wrecked our marriage in the first place. However, all right, why the sudden interest in Prissy? He's never been bothered before. It's not as if she's a child anymore. She can look after herself.
Lizzy, there's another call from Schizo Chan. Tell him I'm not in. Right. Hello? She's still not back. Oh, oh I've no idea. Oh, I don't know. Oh, right. I'll leave a message for her. It was a fantastic fight. Oh. Yeah, it was. What a finish. Yeah. Took him in the fifth round. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's great. Oh. Hey, here's Prissy. Oh, yeah. Prissy, we all watched him. It was a brilliant fight. You must be very proud. Oh. Yeah, so I wouldn't <laughs> yeah. Hello, Miss Tong. Uh, who's speaking, please? It's so Chan. Hey, Prissy. Hmm? A Mr. Chan for you. <gasps> oh? Oh. Hello? I'm afraid she's just left. Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, never mind, never mind. Hey, Prissy. Who is he then, this Mr. Chan? Just a man. Buddy, just don't forget who put you where you are now. Who made it all possible? And I expect a bit of gratitude. Because if you think you can ignore me, I'll put you back where you started. I still have control over you. So think about it. And wise up and do as I tell you. Huh? Right, I think you understand me. I won't discuss it again. Hey, what are you on about? Mind your own business. I'm just finalizing things. Remember me? I've tried calling you, but you're always out. There's a nice little restaurant I know. Would you do me the honor of accompanying me? Hmm? Oh, another time. You're busy now? <laughs> no. It's just that my meal's ready at home. Hmm. Some other time, then. Hmm. I hope so.
terrible words? Yes, I recognize your voice. Come and pick me up. I think you're not used to drinking. You've spent all evening telling me how great it is. Mm -hmm. ah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> I think I'll go home. Okay. What's the hurry? Relax. Uh, oh. I don't want any more to drink, thank you. Mm. Oh, over there, sir. Mm. Is he here? Yeah. Prissy, what are you doing here? Same as you, looking to get laid. <laughs> Dad, cheers. He's doing it. But, <laughs> hey, hey, come on, come on. Get off me. 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 If you hadn't stopped me, I'd have belted the bugger. <laughs> Rambo, let me tell you a secret. Tonight I discovered that my father's no good. Mother's right. She's always told me he's no good. No good at all. Hello? Who's calling? Is Prissy back? Is she home yet? 
No. Listen, I beg you, please don't play Ma John so much. Mind your own business. This is my business. I'm begging you, please spend more time with Prissy. I saw her tonight, hanging around with a bunch of real thugs. Huh? Where did you see her? Why didn't you bring her back home? Perhaps you could back up this newfound interest in Prissy with some practical action. Hello, Charity? Hello? I won't touch you. Let me go. Please let me go home. No way, baby. Peter Tong. Yes, who's speaking? Who are you? Never mind that. Do you want to see your daughter again? You... where have you hidden her? It'll cost you to find out. Are you willing to pay? How, how much? Ten grand. Don't call the cops. Don't even think of it, or you won't ever see her again. And I want it in cash. Meet me by Reed's River. Tomorrow, 2 p.m. Oh, all right. Please, please don't hurt her.
get going. I want my daughter. Don't worry. I won't double cross you. You bring her out. For the money. It's all there, so hand over my daughter at once. Well, there's no hurry. Huh? What else do you want? <laughs> to settle the account. Uh, you! Uh, let me go! Huh. You listen. It's not just a matter of money. You see, you got to be punished. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, but, uh, How many girls have you had? Listen, Bunny's my woman and you've had her. So today you're going to see your own daughter raped in front of you. Schizo, you're a pervert. You, uh, uh, you. Uh, uh, no, uh, no. Uh, I don't want your money. Uh, Fatty, she's yours. <laughs> With your permission. No. No! 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 No!
Bring her. But uh, she might call the police. Hey, Mr. Wong. Hello. How are you? Fine. Is the uh, boss in? Yes, upstairs. Sit down. Thank you. Mr. Wong, here he is now. Oh, thanks. A word, please. Yeah. Why are you still working in boxing? Come and work for me here. Uh, I'm getting too old now. And besides, I'll be retiring soon. It's time to settle down. I'm here for a reason. Weasel, I need your help. Will you do me a favor? Just ask. If I can help you, I will. Did you read in the newspapers about Peter Tong? That rich tycoon found dead in a go-down last week. Hmm. The cops were here earlier. Oh. Hey, Weasel, I want you to find someone. It's his daughter, Prissy. She disappeared from her home about ten days ago. Find out where she is. Uh, uh, I just want you to find her. You don't have to do anything. Give me three days and I'll tell you... What was her name? Prissy Tong? Why isn't she here to meet me? Uh, Mr. Wong? I'll be along. Oh. Uh, what are your plans now, sir? I'm gonna find Prissy. The police say everything's under control. I'm sure Prissy will soon be home safely. Now, Mr. Mercury Wong gave the police some information. Said he saw Prissy with some rough-looking guys. They seem to be together. Who's Mercury Wong? We don't know. Mrs. Tom, I'll find him. Rambo, I think I'm onto something. Oh? What is it? Tell me. A man called Schizo Chan's been hanging around with Prissy. Schizo Chan? Hmm. That asshole. Hey, where are you going? To find him. Hey! Rambo! <laughs> Right. <laughs> Schizo and Prissy, where are they? Uh, I don't know. You don't uh, know? I'm telling you the truth. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Schizo and Prissy, where are they? I don't know. I haven't seen you around. How dare you come here? I'm leaving town. And you're coming with me. <laughs> Let go of me! You killed Pecker, I said nothing. Now leave me be, I'll keep quiet. You'd crack under pressure. Come on. <sighs> Schizo, it's over between us. I'll tell you frankly, I want to lead my own life. I don't want you anymore. Goodbye.
drink this. Schizo Chan's a notorious hard case. I think you better. Hey, don't worry. A notorious hard case or not, I'm going to find him and deal with him personally. I've no choice. Chan. Speak up! Tell me! All right, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Rambo's got hold of Sharky. Huh? Hmm. Will he keep quiet? No, he'll spill everything. Hmm. We've got no choice. Call the boys in. If Rambo gets here, we'll have to kill him. Rambo! 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 Rambo, listen to me, please. Let me help you. I'll talk to him. I can settle his problem for you. I don't want you to settle my problems. I want you to tell me where he is. Rambo, if you go there and meet him, he'll force you to fight. You promised Prissy you'd stop fighting. Maybe I won't have to fight. I know Schizo-chan, he's a coward. You're all wrong. You'd fight all right. Let me go. I'll have her back in three days. You must tell me. If I can't rescue Prissy, what sort of a man am I? Listen, I know you've done a lot of good things for me in the past. But I'm a man now. Treat me like one. Let me make my own decisions, will you? Are you going to tell me? You... You... All right. I'm going to find out anyway. Oh. Rambo! Oh. Hothead, I'll just settle this thing for you quietly. Maybe you don't know me, but I am... Uh... I know you. Rambo's coach. You found my place very easily. Since you know, <laughs> then you'll know why I'm here. Perhaps we could... Save your breath. I won't change my mind. <laughs> An old has-been like you, thinking you could... talk to me as an equal. All right, tie him up. I dare say Rambo's not far behind. <laughs> Thank you. 
Rambo! Don't come any closer, it's a trap! Don't come! Schizo, you and I should have a talk. Hand over Prissy and we'll forget all about this. Huh, certainly not. I want a private demonstration from the returning hero. Schizo, I've made a promise to stop boxing. So I hope we can discuss this business peaceably. The only way to sort this out is to fight it out. Guys! Rambo! Schizo, I don't want any trouble. Ah! <laughs> 
Okay, take him away. All right. Yes, sir. This way. Come on. Over there. Hurry up. Move along. Stephen Wong. <laughs> you. Rambo, didn't you say your father was called Stephen Wong? Stephen uh -huh. Wong, you again. Uh -uh. Taking the law into your own hands. It's none of your business. And it's not the first time. No. You've got a criminal record. But this time, at least it's not serious. Yes. Go to the car. Oh. oh. Father, Rambo. 